Our big story tonight is a big change in leadership in Portland. Now this morning, we all tuned into the mayor's daily news conference to try and get some questions answered about police tactics over the weekend. And then, well, then this happened. I have asked Chuck Lavelle to step into the role as the chief of the Portland Police Bureau. <sighs> That was me spitting out my coffee this morning because that was a bit of a surprise. So we got ourselves a new police chief. This is the third this year in the fifth in four years. Chief Larry O'Day resigned in June 2016 after he was placed on leave after shooting a friend during a hunting trip. Then Chief Mike Marshman took over until he was replaced in fall of 2017 by Chief Danielle Outlaw. Then Chief Jamie Resch took her place in February after Outlaw took a chief job in Philadelphia, which of course brings us to today and Chief Chuck Lavelle. Now Resch had said that she personally asked Lavelle to be the next chief and that it's important that PPB be part of the change needed in our community and frankly in communities across Oregon. And it's a change that Chief Lavelle seemed to echo when he introduced himself to the city. When I watched the video of what happened to Mr. Floyd, I remember the big takeaway I had. I mean, as I watched the agonizing minutes tick by, it wasn't the tactics, it wasn't the number of officers there. It was really the lack of care and compassion. And that's, that's what stuck with me. And it, the thought that that's an idea that could exist that almost felt like you're not important. And to me, we, the fight is not with each other. The fight for all of us is against that idea that people, institutions, agencies, you name it, can harbor that feeling in our hearts and it has bad outcomes for people. So that that is the true enemy. That's what we should all be united fighting against. OK, so what do we know about this guy at this point? Chief Lavelle, head of the Bureau's Community Services Division, which was created last July. And that included behavioral health units, a community engagement officer, a homeless community liaison and a civilian engagement specialist. And in that role, he reported directly to the chief. And now, well, well, now everybody reports directly to him. And it is a tough time to be in charge of the Portland Police Bureau because people like me have a lot of questions and among them. Why did an officer in riot gear pepper spray a person who appeared to be walking away? This was Saturday or throw a person off their bike on Sunday when you can hear the person asking which way they're allowed to go. This was, by the way, on the police bureau's own live stream. And we're still waiting to see what comes of their investigation into this video from last week of a police SUV cruising through an intersection there next to the square, nearly clipping protesters or whether they made any arrests after spray painting cars of people that they thought were handing out weapons. These aren't accusations, all right? These are questions, questions we want to have answered. The chief was specifically asked about the first video, the person being pepper sprayed there, because it turns out the person was a local journalist. He was also asked whether he has any intentions of banning crowd control weapons, things like CS gas, LRADs, or flashbangs. Literally 10 minutes in, so I, I didn't see any of the video or anything from last night. The last 24 ish hours for me have just been a whirlwind like you couldn't believe. Um, we have systems of accountability. Uh, our officers are well trained. They're out there doing their best to keep the peace. Um, I'm sure we'll look at whatever video or whatever um, there is to look at and we'll make some determinations. Um, I, I want to be clear. We want to give great service. We want to do the best job that we can, but I also want to protect officers and give them the tools they need to do the job that we ask them to do. Um, and I think that that's the only fair way to lead them. So, I mean, we'll, we'll look at that and we'll still um, do what we need to do as law enforcement leaders to protect the public, to protect life and property. And um, yeah, we'll, We'll look at it.